What's up, guys? It's your boy. I just finished third place at my Toronto 400-man regional nine-round event. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I obliterated absolutely everyone in my path using the best deck in the world. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> Sky Striker Orcus. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Sorry, guys, I'm sorry. I wanted to play with Babel and engage before they got banned. So I took a non pendulum deck to the event, and you know what? I can't lie. I play pendulum too much for my own good. I go to sleep at night and dream of servant in a non hentai type of way. I just think of pendulum scales. I literally own a pendulum. Like, I own a real life pendulum. I need a break from pendulums. Hence, I played Sky Striker Orcus. Uh, for the past few weeks to get out of my little pendulum rut and here we are we finished third place destroyed everyone with easily the best deck in the room this is the deck profile that uh, team samurai made with us and if you like the video hit the subscribe button if we hit 500 likes on this video updated pendulum profile and the pen god will go back to his roots and play pendulums anyways hit the subscribe button and let's go so friendly reminder we only have 20 mighty master and demion playmats left so get yours now asap quickly before they sell out only 40 usd right now in the description and enjoy the video let's go what's going on youtube it's your boy sam from team sam x1 here and today guys i'm with steven trifonoski aka the false pendulums. We're gonna play pendulums today because it's all good. We gotta give everyone a chance. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll save pendulums for the next event, all right? Okay. Well, like, you know what? Today, we're gonna give everyone a chance. Play Sky Circle Orcus. Give everyone a chance, but you know what? I still destroyed everyone. Sky Circle Orcus is a big thing now, okay? And it all originated from one guy, and that's him that's right him. here, Milano. And not no <laughs> one's giving him the credit he deserves for it. This whole deck is him. I saw how broken it was. I thought pendulums. Play, why would I ever give up? Why yeah, would I, I ever give up pendulums? Why would I ever give up pendulums play ever? Play. Like this deck is so remarkable that even I said, you know what, pendulums? See you until Babel's banned. Hmm. Why would I ever do that? So I want big big shout for him to him this. for that, and that's why I'm playing it. And so then, then, then my and then and after spreading the word. and then <laughs> my friends see me play it, <laughs> aka take notes group chat. Let's go, baby, best group chat, even better than Game Nation's group chat. Let's go. Uh, anyways, <laughs> but best team obviously. No, but Game Nation best team obviously. But anyways, in the second. Anyways, uh, they see me play it. They see me scrape them. I scrape them all. And the next, you know, they all play it. But it all originated from him. So the respect has to be there for the world to know. But, yeah. Hey, awesome. So uh, when you talked about giving people a chance, so yeah. if you were playing pendulums today, you actually would have came first. I would have came first. I don't even know why. I mean, you know what? It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Uh, like we're in the American mood. Thanks, uh, happy Thanksgiving to all of you American people. Like uh, I hope you guys enjoyed some Thanksgiving McDonald's or whatever American people do. Like uh, we just had a good time, all that. But yeah, so I want to give them the thanks. And then what do you know? An American won the event. Oh, all right. Okay, cool. Right. Because you gave the win, right? You know. Because I gave like, him the win. Thanksgiving. Now, when I say this, oh, my theory with this deck is incredible. It's like a whole nother level. Okay. So I want you guys, if you want to play this deck, because you, like, you have a brain, you understand very closely. Okay. The theories are like literally ten months ahead of everyone. So listen closely, it's totally right. I'm just saving yourself a bunch of months of time if you're w wanting to play this deck. Don't play three Nightmare, okay? How come? So seven. Everyone wants to play three Nightmare because you're going to say, oh, you know, you want to make sure you have your combo, etc., etc. But what combo is it? Nightmare, Banish, Harp, Harp, Banish, Nightmare, pa Pass? Like, it's not the full combo. So it's not back when you had all the free, uh, like, broken cards where it's like having one Nightmare equals the full combo. If you're engraving and have nothing else, a nightmare does not equal full combo, only harp does. So a nightmare is not even that good to draw. It's only you're only playing two in case you hard draw one, and then otherwise I play one. I'm not even joking. It's not a full starter. It's just the same reason with skeleton. You're only playing two because if you draw one, you're forced to orchestrate a return from your hand, and that's bad. This is the perfect ratio. You want to play the absolute minimum possible. And the reason why this is the best deck by far, and honestly, I'm pretty sure I just obliterated everyone I played, with exception of Dom. But anyways, we were playing the same deck. Whoever has better hand, but anyways, uh, you want to save everything you can for hand traps. I'm playing a gigantic hand trap build, and in fact, I'm gonna cut a few cards to play even more hand traps. Sky Striker Orcus with hand traps is just unbeatable. So you want to make sure to take out any a card that's not required to ensure you have the cards to play all the hand traps possible. And then one roll and one Gizmic. I keep going back and forth with Gizmic. I don't know why. I, a lot of people are actually cutting Gizmic because you're playing Sky Orcus, and at the end of the day, it is a little bit like it's not like it, what if you banish two skeleton? But you gotta take that chance. Gizmic's too big, especially if they cosmic your babble. You get the free uh, Gizmic, and it's huge. Having that one Gizmic, one top logic, extra thing will win the game. He convinced me to play this last minute. It is insane. 
Only you have like to so play. Many games. We're about to take. To yeah, we're about, we're all about to take it out, but we're like, and, uh, uh, you gotta it do worked. it. It worked. It worked. Next, a lot of people are cutting this card because oh, a map might get imperm. Please imperm it. I'm begging you. That means your Galatea resolves and you auto win. You're not playing no like garbage math man imperm pass deck. You're playing engage auto win deck. So you have nine extenders, which Gizmek also does. So if you have the one extender with the one normal summon and any Orcus card in your hand, you win through hand trap. So most of the time, I literally I bait them all the time. I'll normal summon a math, they'll imperm, you'll orchestrate a return, you'll do the full combo, you'll just win. Gizmek extender, you just win through barricade blocker by discarding an Orcus card from your hand. So it's like you win anyways. Right. So it's like you need to play six, and not just because you don't you want to open two, you really do, because you want a normal one and have that one follow up. Because you're playing a bunch of hand traps, you want to also draw these with your draw cards. Because you're playing a bunch of draw cards, well, obviously. But you need to play six. Some people are cutting it because they're scared of, of Imperm. What the hell? Of course, you want to get Imperm. Mathman's also really good going second. Oh, yeah, huge. Because you can, it's it's a dump and an upstart as well. You can crash it and draw cards in case you want to see your play. You play engage. You always want engage away from winning the game automatically. So if you don't have the engage or if you want another, just pop at, uh, just crash and then do it. And you're, you'll be surprised how many amazing ways you could win like that. Or draw this, which is basically the, uh, an engage in its, its own, how it's powerful. Like it is. It is. Uh, so just you play these three. I used to play into the void. I played a Pasadena. It was amazing. When I played this deck of Pasadena, I played into the void version, and I was 10 0 in the first five matches. Then I got introduced to a card called Lancia and Dweller. So since I don't have much, uh, I don't have much, uh, I don't play this deck a lot. I only play Pendulum. So I didn't have much experience to play it. But this last week, I went like whole nother super cent level playing 10 hours a day with it. And if I went to YCS Sydney soon or like YCS Milan, which is happening right now, like it's easy, like 2 0 everyone. Oh, so you, so if you were to buy, so, so if you're in Milan, in Milan, Milan right now, like it's actually over. I feel so bad that I'm not going. And I've even debated <laughs> quitting my job to go. Wow. But Yu Gi Oh! is not that serious. It's just a game. Wow. But, yeah. But you would win Milan right now. It's not even close. So like it's, it's, like these guys had no chance. They had no chance. Wow. They're, they're playing bad. They're playing pure Orcus, which don't get me started on pure Orcus. Like it's, I can play with three cards to start and I'll still win. Pure mm -hmm. Orcus is a buy. It, it's it is. It is. This card makes pure Orcus the best. It makes it so free. You guys have no idea. It's Next, I just play these six. Yeah, like I said in the beginning, if you guys saw Dom's profile, he plays extra cards with Shizuku. That's just like, in the words of the goat, pathetic. Pathetic. Shizuku's pathetic. You go Shizuku, you have a math man, you, in, you that engage could have been a widow anchor to actually save your opponent from killing you. You're not having a turn to, for the engage to result. Uh, the only time the engage will work is you play a bad deck. If you guys, like the combos, you go Shizuku, if you brick, you go Shizuku, get one engage, not two. You get one engage, or two if you can, two engage, fine, and one math man, and pass. Yo, I forgot with which, nothing. Yo, I forgot which opponent it was. Instead of uh, using his engage, after adding it back from Kagari, he made Shizuku and searched the second engage, so I just killed him. Yeah, you just kill him. I just killed him. The only deck it's good against is bad decks that can't kill, which you like just slow decks, slow you decks. slow decks, which you auto win anyways. Why are you like thinking about like to do that? And the extra deck is too tight to do anything with. Suzuku never came up once for me. Next, two orchestra return, one Bob, one crescendo. Two many people play three return. That forces you to play too many orchestra cards, which in my eyes, if they're not harp or nightmare, are bricks. So in fact, if it's not harp, it's a brick in my eyes. It's just there. Brass is trash. It's just there, which could have been a hand Terrible. trap. Is uh, really bad. Ret a third return would have been another hand trap. So what I actually want to do is cut more stuff out. I want to cut everything I possibly can to play as many hand traps as possible. Hand traps is what win you everything. My hand trap lineup won me every. I'm playing ten hand traps. I side into fourteen. So what Orcus deck, which does all that, like what deck can you think of except for a Spiral when it was extremely powerful, would put up everything combo like fifteen negates, and then also on top of that have fourteen hand traps. That's just not even fair. Mm. It was all one hand, one hand, com one card combos, one card combo, one math man, full combo, four hand traps. Have fun. Like, good luck, have fun. I would show my hand. I would literally show my hand to my opponent when I had three hand traps. Like, honestly, just good luck. Like, they just can't do anything. I even want to take a crescendo. Because going first, you always get Babel. So you don't need to get the crescendo. Going second, you side this crap out. I don't like this card. It's it just it sucks through my hand. Really it's you. only good for the, like, follow-up and stuff. But, like, there's no follow-up. You just win. I'm not even talking crap, but you just win. Like, I don't kind of explain how free everything is. Now the hand trap lineup. This is it's a regional, so I want to make sure I had enough for random decks that are like random. Uh, so yeah, uh, you need to play more dark cards as well. Three Ash, I sided one out almost every time just because you don't want to have doubles. The issue came up for me, but it's still like you would keep it in if you can. You want, uh, you want dark ones. You want dark ones, which leads to the next one is Crow. It's so versatile. I almost got FTK by Madolce once because you can't do anything to that deck sometimes. Like they just like, like my control Kaiju, Kaiju, my control, my control, the last card, it's like, what special summon? And it's like, full thing and then the who cake targets i'm like nah. Nah. and it was great uh next two phantasmate 
Phantasma and Crow, uh, Phantasma might get caught, but they're darks. You need to play the darks. You just need to. For a lure. You need to play for a lure. It makes it like they're kind of offensive cards right. almost. And Phantasma going second and like, for going first, I sided all the time because it's not a guaranteed hand trap. But going second, it's amazing. And once called Meister, I play five dark hand traps and five non dark hand traps because darks are obviously not as good as the normal ones. Like Ash is obviously better than these. But against Orcus, Skullmeister equals Ash. So I even side into more another Skullmeister. Against Orcus, it equals the same thing. You hit the harp, it's the same thing, and it's banished for cost. So they can't use it again. I then next is super weird, but I just wanted to see what'll work. But I played one in permanent one Nibiru. Uh -huh. It's it's super what? weird just because uh it, okay, you need to play the five darks. That's non negotiable, even more, I think. After this event, I'm gonna play three crow for sure. You just need more darks to make sure Allure resolves. I had hands with like double Allure, Crescendo, uh, Ash, and Mathman. You'll summon Mathman and gets hand trap. Then you're left with double Allure and an Ash. I'm like, if this Ash was any dark hand trap, this duel is over. I won anyways, because best deck. So, after Pendulum. So, that's what I did. Now, the reason behind this, you can play two Nibiru and call it a day, but you're gonna have too many dead cards versus random, like, back row decks. I mean, you know, if, like, you know, whatever. I just throw one in just for fun. And, you know, I was never gonna play Nibiru, but you never know when Phantasm gets one against Salad. It's like, get wrecked. How's and it, it, how's it today? I seen it once and I phantasm it into it and then Nibiru is bored. I'm like, <laughs> get wrecked. Yeah. So it's like, it's just there to have just in case you see it sick. It, like, it kind of gives you, like, if you play face of combo deck and they're not respecting Nibiru and you have Phantasm and you randomly draw it, like, yo, get wrecked, son. Uh, but again, you play so hand traps on the side as well, so you play with these 10. Siding. No one knows how to side whatsoever, okay? Don't okay. touch the Orcus engine. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Unless the card's a trap. Going second, you take this out. Going second, you take out Greffer and Math uh, and Rhoda, okay? So you take these out. You have four amazing summons, and uh, that's it. And sometimes gives back, but not really. Try not to. But you have these uh, these and the, uh, a second Ash, in case you don't want to draw double. Now you have so much to side plus these cards. So don't touch the actual engine. The engine is such a minimum amount anyway, just so people don't know how to side. You don't want to touch it anyways to screw up consistency. So after siding, I'm still playing 14 hand traps without touching the actual deck, which is like, it's just uh, OTK, like FTK every game. Yep. All right, so that's that. Extra deck? Let's go with, yeah, with the extra deck. Three Galtea, two Dengirsu, one Longirsu. If you're not playing like uh, that, you're just, I don't know what to say about you. You need to play at least that. Mm -hmm. One Mascarina, one Trisbania, one Topologic Bomber. I don't know why people don't think this card's amazing. This card's broken. I literally want to take Unicorn out of my deck because IP Unicorn is trash because you just go IP Topologic and blow their board four times. I don't care if it's Orcus or Salad. I don't care if Bailings protects. How many times are they going to protect? Five times. With Striker cards, you have Hornet, you have Shark Cannon, you have Phantasmate, you have extra cards on top of the actual Harp Horror, Nightmare, Skeleton, then Girsu, uh, uh, Gizmek. Like, it's ridiculous how good Bomber is. They're going to Cosmic your Babel. I don't really don't care. You go into Topologic, you Nightmare go into Gizmek, and you're still going to get a Bomber effect with the Shark Cannon still getting the Bomber effect. Bomber is ridiculous. I don't know why people don't go into all the time. When I see Unicorn in the mirror, I'm like, thank you, sir. You have a chance now. And they can't take care of it because you're going to hold off your IP for the longest time possible. They mind con I, you know how many times I got mind controlled? Well, I have a monster on board. I'm like, okay, chain harp. Uh, yeah, okay, on top of logic. Okay, uh, bye. They just can't do anything. They waste a card for nothing. It's free. And uh, I'm going to cut zero boros. That card sucked for me today. Yeah, I'm going to cut zero boros. The only reason I kept it is sometimes it's like a Grand Maju in your, in your extra if you play Gizmek. So Gizmek's like 8,000 attacks sometimes with this. But you just going to back roll? Oh, no. Like you just back roll's the, free. Uh, Trisbania, right? Trisbania effect. Trisbania, right, yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, round three, I faced Altergeist. Uh, he did everything he could. He thought I didn't have uh, Gizmek in hand. Uh, he thought I didn't have a monster to, to IP with or something like that. So he set five. And I, oh, it was a Hornet. And I Trisbania, uh, uh, Hornet effect, boom. Good okay. game. <laughs> Where's uh, the world sword, bro? Uh, soon, 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 soon. That's what uh, Don wanted me to ask you. <laughs> and then uh, one Kagari. I don't play Shizuku because if you go Shizuku instead, you're just losing out on a free interruption. Why yeah, would like, you play Shizuku? Yeah. You're just the only to, time like, Shizuku comes up is for a Link Karibo in his place. There's a combo. I'll explain it later. It's too big brain for you guys, to be honest. <laughs> uh, one Barricade Blocker, absolutely required. Came up infinite times where you just have a good Orcus card and uh, you use it and it's like, yeah, you still win. Phoenix and the Unicorn and the Brawl Sword, easy. Three Lancia, uh, I'm cutting it after this event because they'll just shark cannon your Lancia and you're playing pure because you already won. One Meister, one Imperm. Just more hand traps to play around with the ratio wise. Like the brain of this deck's crazy. Two Nibiru, like all the hand traps that like play around with the 14 that you could play. And now against, you have too many cards that are uh, one afterburner. You'll only play six, never play seven, in my opinion. And you take this off for shark cannon depending on the matchup going second. And then uh, there's too many cards that are like DD Crow or Phantasm, cards that are bad or it's back row decks. And then so you play these seven. And it's like absolute destruction. You play these seven against those, you don't play this against Lancia decks, but if a backward deck Lancia's you, you, you win anyways, you just kill them next turn. And against Sky Orcus, evenly is the best card to side, because you'll bait them on Lancia, and then eventually Sky Orcus, especially with Into the Void, they'll just clear the whole board. And that's it, the deck's remarkable.
All right, Steven, any last words for the Pendulum fellows out there? Yeah, Pendulum best deck. If you want to play the second best deck, this is it. You don't even got to play it perfectly. I didn't play it perfectly today, and it was easy third place, and I could have won first. Like, we played the same deck, he just had a better hand. That's amazing. If you don't play this deck, I don't know what the hell you're doing. Easy wins. Easy. All right, guys, peace. If you got this far, don't forget to check our beautiful Mighty Master play, Matt. Only 20 left to begin in this video. Get it before they sold out. They'll never come on again. All right, let's go. See you in the next video. Hit the subscribe button. Peace.